This year, Mitsubishi is celebrating 40 years of selling cars in the UK. To mark the occasion, it held a grand tour of classic Mitsubishis with 66 cars taking part from all over Britain. My name is Luke Hulse. I come from the city of Aberdeen, Scotland. I've come down today in a 1999 uh, Mitsubishi long wheelbase van. To say the least, I'm a Mitsubishi fanatic. Anything with M3 Diamonds, I'm obsessed. And I, I would not ever, ever go to any other manufacturer. Television's Mike Brewer waved the cars off for their 120 mile round trip procession. And I was invited to take part in a very special Mitsubishi. So I'm really lucky because I'm getting to drive the Tommy Mackinnon Evo 6. It was launched in 2000 to commemorate Tommy Mackinnon's four consecutive World Rally Championship wins. And this particular model, it's a 51 plate, so a 2001 car. And it's only got 2,000 miles on the clock, so it's pretty much like being back in 2001 and driving it from new. You could get the Tommy in a choice of colours, but the most collectible have the red paint and decals of Mackinnon's rally car. A unique front bumper, embossed Recaro seats and distinctive NK white alloy wheels also help set it apart. So we've got a 2 litre turbocharged engine under the bonnet kicking out 276 horsepower. Nord 60s dealt with in just 4.5 seconds which means that yeah, even today it feels really really quick. Top speeds 150 miles an hour which is more than fast enough for anyone. But really, the thing about this car is just how pure it feels. It's, it's light compared to the Evo 10. So you're talking 1,365 kilograms, and you really notice that when you're hurling it down a B road like this. <laughs> Come on! The steering especially is just divine. It's really fast. It reacts so sharply to your inputs and the car just darts its nose into a corner, but you've got so much grip from the all-wheel drive system to carry you through. You've just got to be brave. You keep your toe in, and it will take you round. The amount of fun you can get out of this car, I'm not sure there's been any progress in terms of fun. In fact, I think, I think things have probably regressed slightly because just how this makes you feel when you're driving it, it's, as a fun road car, I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether it gets any better than this. So I love the Tommy, but which out of all the owner's cars did the Grand Tour judges like the most? Can't believe it, absolutely gobsmacked. This is the first time I've ever shown the vehicle. Anyone's actually seen the vehicle since I finished it. It's, uh, it's a Mitsubishi or Colt Lancer GSR 1600 Coupe. Bit of a barn find really. The wheels were solid rust, the brakes were absolutely seized, the engine was seized solid. It was just, it seemed better days really. When I saw this, I thought I've got to restore it and I've got to get it back to standard as it would have been. I love the California orange and it was just a brilliant project and it was the perfect project for me. As I was working on the car, I just thought it'd be great if other people saw what I was doing to it and keeping it as original as I can uh, with the same passion that I have. And so I'm just astounded that they have. And it's just been brilliant. It's been such a pleasure to drive as well. Um, not having driven it very far, I've loved every minute of it. So yeah, it's an amazing little car. And uh, it, the day has been just been made fantastic by um, the awards and just been really, really good. Mitsubishi has a long association with aeroplanes. So as a finale to the day, guests were able to go for a plane ride with a difference. And if there's one thing even more thrilling than driving a mint Tommy Mack and an Evo 6, it has to be this. Click on the windows to watch our video of the Mitsubishi Outlander PATV and the car versus bike track battle. Click on the play icon to see our latest video and on our logo to subscribe to the Auto Express YouTube channel.